Howdy guys, we are speaking to you today from Waikiki, beautiful Hawaii. We're actually here on a bit of a holiday. We didn't expect that we were going to be filming anything, but there's this really cool market, the Leahy Market, that we really wanted to show you because it's really different. We've been here a few times before, but we've never actually seen this market. So we really thought it was worth a go. We're gonna um, walk around, have some food, have some drinks, uh, check out some of the market wares. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna show you guys along the way. There's so much variety that we're seeing here, so many different kinds of food. We've seen takoyaki, we've seen brisket, we've seen Mexican, Mexican. taquitos, yeah. there's cookies, there's lava bites, cupcakes, there's so much food yeah. here, which is actually kind of surprising. Yeah. And we've only like done half of the bloody thing. There's stuffed cookies. Ooh, yeah, there's, there's so much stuff here. We're actually a bit blown away. One thing we've noticed is actually this trip. There's been a lot more markets and stores mm -hmm. than there usually is. Like we usually, we try and come every Christmas because we love it here so much. Yeah. And there hasn't really been anything like this before. So yeah, this is really cool. Hopefully they do more of this kind of stuff yeah, because yeah, we're really enjoying it. On the street, it's just all over the place. It's great, but it's, it's yeah, it's chaotic. Anyway, we found somewhere relatively quiet. Uh, for anyone who's aware of the international marketplace, uh, we're sitting in front of the Great Banyan Tree, which is lovely. So, Chrissy, tell us what we got. Uh, yeah, that looks so good. It's so, talk like us through it. Pork here and like some delicious looking crackling, some noodles, rice, and salad. <laughs> the saddest just, salad just I've ever seen. Lettuce and yeah, a little a, bit of corn. It's a heaping hunk of, of pork. All right, we're gonna do it. Some sides. Yeah, I think we're gonna eat now. Okay, first piece of pork, I'm very excited, it looks delicious. I hope you guys can hear us okay because we have seated ourselves down in the Hyatt Regency which is just opposite Waikiki Beach in the Duke statue and we got a beautiful waterfall behind us but I hope that's not going to ruin our audio otherwise this shot may not be as good as I would have hoped. We have found some Texas barbecue uh, and we've gone with some Lilikoi pork ribs. And we're really interested to see how Hawaiians do Texas barbecue. Obviously coming from Dallas we are pretty well versed in uh, barbecue so Chrissy oh. do you want to give us a quick talk through what we've got? It looks pretty good so we've got pork ribs and then we've got some kind of red bean sauce and some corn. So, and I think rice underneath as well, because everything comes with rice. In there Hawaii. is rice underneath. So yeah, the typical Hawaiian dish is called a plate lunch, plate lunch. Uh, and it's generally a serve of protein, meat, and pork, and fish. then some or fish or spam, and then some rice and some salady kind of option, which here is corn and the bean sauce, whatever it is. We've also got a sweet barbecue sauce on top. I don't think we have enough napkins. I don't concern. think we have enough napkins. So we're going to dig in and enjoy ourselves. Okay, Chrissy, verdict on the barbecue pork. Barbecue pork was really nice. It had really good flavour, but it probably wasn't cooked long enough. It was still a little bit tough. It didn't just fall off the bone like it should. Um, but the flavour was good. I think it was definitely better than the uh, pork plate that we had, the roast yep. pork or the rotisserie pork plate that we had. That one, the pork was really good. Um, had good crackling too. Had good crackling, but the rest of the plate was kind of basic. This one was, this one was better. Yeah, and, great. Yeah, and cheaper. And cheaper too. Yeah, yeah definitely. On to dessert. Okay, so we've jumped onto the beach and we're going to try this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, I have no idea what it is. They call it, I think it was a honeycomb? Honeycomb, but it's not actually It doesn't not really look like honeycomb. honeycomb. Oh, I don't think so. It's dripping on my foot. We've got to start right, eating. We've got to start eating. It's something that's got uh, ice cream pumped into it. I'm going to so. take a bite. It's like a waffle cone. Oh, yeah, no, thanks. That's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> got attacked by a leaf. You might want to buy your own. All right, I'm going to go in. Mm. Oh. That looks so much better than it tastes. I liked it. Um, that's a massive disappointment. Have you ever eaten soft serve in a cone? Then you're eating this. I mean... <laughs> it tastes different. Just make a soft serve cone into a hockey stick. No, this tastes different. It's not like a yeah. wafer. No, it's yeah. not a wafer. It's like a... It's kind of like a biscuit. Right. Yeah, give me another one. I like it. Okay. Yeah. So, so imagine the waffle cone was stale. <laughs> That's what this tastes like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, a little bit. It doesn't yeah. taste a little stale. Yeah. I like so it. there you go. Uh, soft serve ice cream, partially melted, served in a stale waffle cone. Bon appetit. <laughs> okay, so that was a really disappointing dessert. That was just terrible. So hopefully this one's going to be. I, I didn't make it. Okay, hopefully these are going to be a little bit better. We've got some macaroons. Now, these are not macarons, so uh, educate yourself. Chrissy, explain what a macaroon is. It's essentially just like shredded coconut with some egg whites and condensed milk. It's I, delicious. I'd never heard of these before until we went to Disneyland in California and they have these Matterhorn shaped macaroons uh, that are dipped with uh, vanilla icing on top and they were one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. These are homemade ones, I'm hoping these are young, but we'll yeah. soon find out. What is the verdict? Are you disappointed? I'm not hearing who's and ours. They're actually not as good as yours. Ooh, of course not. Have oh. you got it on your Instagram? Yeah. Check out Rizzy's Instagram. Chrissy Glenn's. She actually puts a recipe up for these, and yours are actually better than me. Here you go. In all seriousness, these aren't compacted quite as much, so they're not as dense. I know what's happening. The egg whites have been whipped, which is lighter and fluffier. Mine are more dense. The density really adds a lot to it. So they're young, and they're light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Like Chrissy said, it's also good for them. Probably. They're good, but... You can't really get them wrong, but... Chris is about. Thanks. Okay, so to finish it off, we have got a quintessential Hawaiian drink. Just to finish off the evening, a pineapple smoothie. Oh, look at that. So-called pineapple smoothie. We have no idea what's in it. Alright, I'm going first. It is pineapple juice. I wouldn't call that a smoothie. It's what? Pineapple juice. There ain't nothing smoothie about that. That was $14. $14. I think we paid for the artistic talents of the chefs. And we get a piece of pineapple, so... And we're gonna throw it out when we're done. $14 for <laughs> pineapple juice. I don't think Luke's impressed. Waikiki, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's a joke. <gasps> well, thanks for joining us, guys. That was a totally impromptu video. We had spent most of today just chilling on the beach, relaxing, getting some sun. Um, we head back to our hotel room, jumped down for a walk around, and all of a sudden we saw this massive festival. So uh, we thought, yeah, really good opportunity to just start filming and show you guys what's going on here in Waikiki. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, there'll be loads more content like this and loads of other kinds of content too. See you guys next time. Bye!